Big brother, I'm scared! Yuka, take my hand! Everyone, stay calm! Get under the desks until it passes! Hurry! Uh... Yeah, that ain't happening. Welcome on Zeninzers to another episode, another installment of Oddities and Entrails, right here on Odds and Ends Gaming. I, of course, am Espionage DB7, the one, the only, the one who needs no introduction. And today, I am uh, doing something a bit unique. This is a game called uh, Corpse Party. I believe it's a Japanese indie game. And it is actually, I'm doing this as a special request. Um, for Death of the Fox Goddess, she requested a few games, and I told her I'd keep an eye on them, and uh, this, from what I read, was some sort of horror game, uh, anime, Japanese-style horror game of some sort. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, much the way I did. I'm going into this blindly, much the way I did when I played uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. So... Uh, all I know is that it is some sort, supposed to be some sort of horror game, so we'll see what I'm getting myself into. At any rate, uh, I don't know if this game is better on, with the lights on or off, but I'd say turn them off and we'll see where this goes. Alright, so... Well, know where to start, but from the beginning. New game. Um, it's asking me a question. I... How do I select... Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Sat... Oh, fuck, I didn't... I don't know what the hell that was. She'd do a... Anything for me. I don't think uh, I. F well, this this is very difficult to read if you just keep jumbling the letters. But I still love her with all my heart. Well, that's much more easy. Why couldn't they all be like this? Red screen of death. It's rainy. It was a rainy evening after school. Well, I read it. I just didn't get. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled and she fell. And she died. This took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary. And it wasn't long after that that the whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten. But that elementary school once stood right here on the site of our own Kisar Kis Kisa Kisaraga Kisaragi Academy. Sorry, I'm terrible at that. Kisaragi. Some say that teacher still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after classes have come to an end, some claim she roams the darkened hallways. Still believing them to be her own. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds. Just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears. Always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. You'll hear from the blackness followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. It's at this point that I would make some kind of door creaking effect, but I don't have that type of door in my room, so... 
As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes with the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... Okay, this looks like a seance. Ugh. It's just thunder, Mokita. <laughs> I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. Okay, so this is Naomi. Yoshiki! <laughs> Come on, stop laughing! <laughs> Most amusing! Mayu and Morishig. Satoshi. It was just bad timing, that's all. You always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to you, Mokita. It's so rewarding. <laughs> Who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Who ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Well... Uh, eek! Save me! <laughs> this guy's a jerk. Don't be an ass, Yoshiki! Okay, okay. Let's not have any fighting. If we don't hurry and get back to cleaning this place up, it'll be 7 o'clock till we do. And you wouldn't want to be stuck here during the appointed time, now would you? Too late. My, it really is 7 already? And the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. Didn't you bring an umbrella, Shig? If not, you're welcome to use mine. While this girl right here has some huge freaking eyes. Like, those are damn alien size eyes. Okay. Really? Thank you. That would be lovely. There go the lights. What? A blackout, huh? No, it can't be. Isn't it a little late for anybody else to be here? Somebody better answer that. Are they gone? <laughs> hey, S Satoshi, aren't you gonna go see? What? Me? <laughs> Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs one inch. I'm scared too, you know? Oh, I can move now. Okay. Um. Okay, so E brings this up. Victims? What? Victims? I'm, I'm a killer? What does, um, how do I interact? Is there a way to interact with people? Spacebar, okay. You don't think Ayumi's story might be true, do you? I think I'm more scared than you, so I leave this duty in your capable hands. Man, you really are an ass sometimes, you know? S Satoshi, y you want me to come with you? N no, I'll be okay. M Mokita, I, I don't think you should go. Shiver, okay. 
What's this? Nothing, nothing. Well, there's another door here. Maybe I'll sneak up on it instead of... See, they're expecting me to come from there. What happens if I try this door? The knocking is coming from the door at the front of the room. Boo. I was gonna outsmart the monster. Ah! Is anyone still here? Time to go home, children. Gotcha! I just wanted to join in on all the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? Miss Yui. <laughs> Did I scare you? You were telling that old ghost story, right? Your timing was way too good, Miss Yui. Miss Sushiro, you've heard the story too? If it's that old tale about Heavenly Host Elementary School, then of course I have. After all, it wasn't too long ago that I was a student here myself. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. When it can when it comes to the seven wonders of Kisaragi High, I'm pretty well versed. They've been around for a long time now, the seven wonders. Though I can't take credit for the blackout. That was just good fortune. Anyway, Mokira. Y yes. Wait, I'm confused on the name. She addressed Mokita and S S Satoshi answers? I, I don't know if I'm going to learn these names at all. But anyway. And I thought her name was Miss Yui, not Miss Sushiro. I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. Hmm? Come on in. H Hello, everybody. Yuka, what are you doing here? <laughs> Big brother! See, Mokita forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuka here has come all this way to deliver it. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. <laughs> Is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aw. Man, these girls have freakishly huge eyes. I had no idea you had such a cute little sister, Satoshi. <laughs> Sorry, Yuka, it seems like we're still going to be a little while yet. Really? Well, that's okay. I'll help too. Y you will? Okay, thanks. Yo! Yo! Alright, looks like we've got two extra pairs of hands now. So let's show this mess who's boss. Yeah, alright. <laughs> you guys roping me into this too, huh? Okay, everybody, nice work. I hope you all enjoy your vacation, but try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. Today's Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the culture festival, so give yourselves a hand. You guys worked hard, and it really paid off. Red Bean Cafe, huh? And you even resisted the urge to bail on cleaning. This old TA couldn't be more proud of you, uh, uh, more proud of you all. So, have some coffee milk. I brought enough for everybody. You got these from the lunchroom? You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kinda... lukewarm. My stomach's so gurgly. I don't think the milk would sit well with me right now. These are from your fight with that vending machine. I'll bet you... I'll bet. You must have pulled the change lever a good ten times before you finally gave up. 
crap, you saw that, huh? Miss Yui, thank you. What's her name? Yui or Sushi? What? I don't Thank you. Thanks. You're very welcome. Thanks, Teach. Suzumoto, I really liked your speech. Best of luck to you at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. <laughs> Thanks. Won't be the same around here without you, Suzy, Su Suzumi, Su Suzumi. Suzumi, I think that's Suzumi. I know you, Su Suzumoto. You'll make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all make sure to come visit. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can go too? Mm. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. Hey brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, t today's culture festival was her last day. Aw, that's so sad. Yeah, it is. Nothing we can do about it, though. Unfortunately. Hey, uh, Miss Sushido? Before we go... Hmm? Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try something? It's called a Sachiko Forever. A Sachiko Ever After. Who's Sachiko and what's with the paper doll? Is this another one of your occult things? Oh, and it starts. We're gonna summon the demons and the vampire zombies and... <laughs> kind of. This is... Well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Oh, great, you're gonna trap my immortal soul. That sounds fun. Or we'll always be friends, anyway. That's the gist of it. Ooh, it's a charm? Yep, that's all, Sh Shinozaki, I had, to, I had to say. Suzumoto is totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Guess it can't hurt. Yes, it can! And it fucking will! Is everyone okay with this? Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it. Yay! Charm! Sure, whatever. Morishigi? You too? Uh, yes. Looks like the eyes have it. The floor is yours, Shinozaki. Great! Okay, everybody, gather in a circle around this paper Sachiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sachiko, we beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine, yeah, nine times. Don't worry, if you flub it a little, just make sure you don't stop part way through. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less, or the charm will fail. All right, let's get started. Everybody, everybody, remember the charm. Sachiko, we beg of you, nine times. Ready? Begin. So I guess I'm saying this. Uh, I already forgot it. Everybody said it nine times. Yep. Exactly nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now, everybody, reach towards the paper doll. And grab hold of it. Anywhere you can. Like this? Exactly. Now, hold on really tight. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. 
we're going to pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, pull! Nicely done, everyone. Now, just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it into your student ID holder or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm? As long as we all have a little piece of Sachiko with us, we'll always be connected with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Try super cool! I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shino Shinozaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. Yes, ma'am. Uh, an earthquake? And uh, here comes the 80s horror synth beats. What the hell? This is like, holy crap big! Big brother, I'm scared! Yuka, take my hand! Everyone, stay calm! Get under the desks until it passes! Hurry! Uh, yeah, that ain't happening. Oh, the floor! Everybody, hang on to something! If you can! There goes Ayumi. Yee! What the hell is happening? Can't. Damn it, I can't see a thing! Naomi, where are you? Satoshi? Ouch! Oh, ow! My leg! I can move it, so I guess it's just a sprain. Huh? Where? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. What? It's so dark, I can barely see a thing. Is... is this the school? What's that? What's going on? What the hell is this place? I'm going to assume that the floor cracks kill me. Uh oh. Dead body. So here's an exit. Uh, but I feel like I should investigate that first. <gasps> Is that Seiko? Seiko! Seiko! This isn't good! We'll move the fucking. How the. How the freaking. Can she not hear me? Well, uh, come on, it's a desk! Uh, okay. I guess I have to go around. Okay, so that's a cutoff. What the? Ow! <laughs> that really hurt. My ankle's in pretty bad shape. Okay, so I guess those boards trip you?
Seiko. Say. Oh, thank goodness, she's still breathing. Seiko, come on, Seiko, wake up. Uh. Huh? No. Naomi, what's up? Don't you, what's up me? I thought you were dead. Hmm? Uh, where? Where are we? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, uh, <laughs> it ain't budging. These windows are sealed up tight. And it's pitch black out there. I can't make the heads or I can't make heads or tail of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this is clearly a school building. Don't the desks seem unusually small to you, though? Like an elementary school. Well, then you shouldn't have had any problem moving them, should you? <laughs> an elementary school? It can't be. Can it? What is it? The printout uh, on the wall. It says Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Heavenly Host? Isn't that the elementary school that preceded Kisaragi? The one that was shut down and demolished? Oh god, what's happening? Where the hell are we? And where are our friends and Miss Yui? <sighs> Calm down, Seiko. Don't get so worked up. Sorry. Seiko and I just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I'd been shaking so hard I could hear my teeth chattering. I'd become completely lightheaded and I couldn't even think straight, much less wrap my brain around what was happening to us. I kept telling myself, it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare. But no matter how hard I wished for it, I, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of it all. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to say something, anything. Hey, hey I, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But uh, how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out? We can't just stand here quaking in terror. We need to do something, you know? Besides, I don't want to be in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the, the windows are all sealed shut. And, and I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I, I don't even think they can be opened. Is it even possible to leave this building? I'm not sure. But there might be an entrance way or an emergency exit or something. Some means of getting outside. Y you're right. And it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm going all loony in here if we keep this up. Okay then, first step is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up, 
After all, it's probably not just the two of us in here. The others have to be around somewhere, right? Yeah. And if we can reunite with them, we'll find a way out of the <laughs> fucking music gave me a bit of a scare. <laughs> we'll find a way out of here together. <laughs> That's the spirit. I had no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious to be honest. But I knew that if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream. I'd be inconsolable. So in desperation, I put on the strongest front I could manage. Character introductions. Direct the eye towards any character and press the action key to learn more about him or her. When you're done, exit through the door on the southeast side of the room to resume play. Interesting. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Alright. Miss Yui Sushiro. Okay, so first and, first and last name. Yui Sushiro, age 23. An 11th grade English teacher at Kisa, Kisaragi. Kis, Kisaragi, right? At Academy Senior High School just started this semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impression though not a perfect in, no though not a perfect instructor by any means her unjaded zeal and, and enthusiasm are infectious and her students seem generally responsive to her methods also serves as a teacher's assistant during home homeroom for class 29 and really seems to have connected with the students there when she's in charge, all eyes are on her. Always. Yoshi Kishinuma, age 17. A student in Kisaragi. Kis I can always have problems with the word. Kisaragi. Kisaragi. Kisaragi Academy, Senior High School, Class 29. Often regarded as sarcastic and cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again, if either is involved. With intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. Interesting. Ayumi Shinozaki, age 17. The appointed representative of Kiss. Kisaragi Academy, high, uh, high class 219, uh, 29. often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and revels in hearing them scream. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case of an opportunity present, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi's uh, in its intensity. When faced with a truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear-induced state. What's this chick's name uh, again? Ayumi? Yeah. Alright. Uh. Alright, let's take a look at this guy. Satoshi Mokira, age 17. A student in Kisaragi Academy Senior High School, class 2-9. Fairly average, but popular, known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards others and makes him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is consequently the only person to whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. Okay. Naomi... Nakashima, age 16. A student in Kisa Kisaragi Academy Senior High, class 2-9, and a classmate of Satoshi's since junior high. Frequently greets Satoshi with, Oh, not you again. Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. 
Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to medical school. Seiko Sishu Shino Shinohara, age 16. A free spirit, she often says or does things uh, that take others by surprise, though she's always... Uh, she's also easily forgiven due to her genuinely good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. Seiko seems to regard Naomi as kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Yuka Mokira, age 14... Satoshi's little sister, though she's an 8th grader at Kisa Kisaragi Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much younger. In the Mokita household, Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up, often attempting to act older or braver than she is. And this often gets her into trouble. So there's only two guys, right? Yeah, this is a chick. So two guys, one teacher, one little girl, and three 17-year-old girls. All right, what? Alone, frog soaking in uh, formalin sits atop the shelf, eagerly awaiting dissection. All right. Let's see where this goes. End character introductions and return to the game. Uh, actually, what I think we are going to do is we're going to wrap up the uh, first... Uh, I know it's not the first chapter, but I'm going to wrap up the first gameplay session of this game. This is something I'll definitely be coming back to, but uh, since we did get, uh, did get all the character introductions and the introduction to the game itself. I think this is a good stopping point and uh, from, from here on in uh, for the rest of the month of October we will be plunging into the rest of this game as well as others so uh, you know for every, anybody watching uh, Death of Fox Goddess if you're watching thank you for turning me on this game definitely looks like it's something that's going to be interesting and I eagerly await to play the rest of it uh, any, anyone else who's tuning in thank you so much for tuning in as always we always appreciate you stopping by if you enjoy it if you enjoyed the content be sure to leave a like share it subscribe but most importantly as always be sure to settle down alright that's going to do it for this episode of Oddities and Intros right here on Odds and Ends Gaming have a great one